Today I'm gonna help you find the best in-ear solution if you're a drummer. To be honest, in-ears have always been an issue for me, either because they just didn't fit right, they didn't seal right, or they didn't seal enough, or they didn't, uh, yeah, the mix wasn't clear, you know, all these kind of things that at the end of the day make your work a lot more difficult than what it should be. So today I'm on the mission to help you compare the solutions that are available in the market and help you make this choice a lot quicker and a lot faster and of course save a lot of money. We'll be classifying the in-ears into four categories. The first one is their isolation being the most important in my opinion. Second, sound quality, also of course very important. Third, their comfort. Do you look like a Mickey Mouse? Do they hurt? Do you know, are they uncomfortable? And fourth and last is the budget, uh, which is basically do they actually make that they that you go broke or that they actually are affordable. I'm gonna begin by the most unconventional one, but I literally see this a lot, especially in the worship industry. I do not understand why people use them and I still do not understand what's so great about them because literally you don't get any isolation, you don't get much of a good sound quality do that you also hear the outside. Um, they look ugly and you know just white and, and you can see them everywhere and especially if you're a drummer chances are that you will get that from them instead of actually trying to help you reduce the volume. You hear me right? Those are the famous ear pods and yeah you know they come all kind of brands and all kind of different shapes and colors and whatever i just do not get it why why do you use this on stage why especially if you're a drummer it has literally zero sense to use them so i just want to make this clear and i want to make this clear that this is not an option this is absolutely not an option with this being said i think that they can go straight to the bin so your first option will be generic in ears all kind of in-ears from Shure, from Fender, from Cassette, MME, Audio, and there are literally tons and really by now so many brands for any, literally any budget inside that. But I do think that the most important for them to work good for you is to actually have the correct tips. I'm going to put a link below if you actually are considering this option. This is going to help you for better isolation and therefore also the sound quality is going to be a little bit better. Their isolation was okay. I wouldn't actually be playing with drums with the standard tips that the cassette was providing. So I could actually imagine that with these different tips it will be a lot better. On sound quality, literally everyone says it and I'm also going to repeat it. The cassette. Um, in-ears are spectacular. Uh, you could compare it to the sound quality of the Apple Pods or the Shure 215s. Of course, you just have to take in mind that this, you know, you're paying for a very, very cheap product and your expectations will actually not be very high. However, for what you get, for the money that you pay and for what you get, it's actually extremely good. Talking about comfort, honestly, I was a bit disappointed. The generic fit doesn't fit exactly great, in my opinion. And after some time, 15, 20 minutes, in my opinion, it started to hurt. Of course, everyone has different ears and everyone is gonna react different from that, but I did not find them very comfortable. So that's, you know, a con from it. Uh, they're definitely doable. So if you just have to play and you have nothing else or you know, you have them as a backup, I think that this works great. Third option that you have as a drummer is to use the Big Firth um, headphones with cable. And to be honest, this has been serving me really great until the padding actually worn out so they wouldn't seal anymore and I couldn't hear my mix very well anymore. And the downside of that is that Big Firth does not provide, at least not in Europe, uh, replacements for this so literally after one or two years you just have to throw them away um, certain frequencies don't filter out very good anymore especially the symbol frequencies I started actually have them a lot of time in my mix and symbols is something I definitely do not want to have in my mix so this was very annoying um, Isolation, I think that this is a even better option than generic in-ears. I think that with this you can be fairly safe. Uh, biggest downside here is of course the padding, as I was saying, 
and the low frequency uh, filter is actually not good at all. When the bassist will just put their amp very loud or literally near next to me, that was something really annoying and you will have the feeling that your head will like resonate with the strings of the bass and <laughs> that was actually not so nice. Sound quality, I think that it's pretty neutral. I don't think these are really the best uh, hearing uh, quality. I think that they're very, very straightforward. You have a lot of highs and mids, but you don't really have many lows. So for example, if you want to hear the bass through these, you're gonna have to crank it up fairly high in your in-ear mix. And uh, yeah, you're still gonna have to struggle to try to hear them. It works, but Sound quality wise, it's not really the best. Now about comfort, of course, you guys have already seen me on these ones. I literally wear them practically almost all the time. You do look like a Mickey Mouse and especially if you're a woman, it just, yeah. After some time, you will experience some pain, but we're talking about a couple of hours before you actually get uncomfortable with these. There is people that cannot stand them and I totally understand that. They are heavy, they are, you know, pressing to, to give you a good feel and I can understand that people actually might find it uncomfortable. Budget-wise, they run for around 70 euros uh, in literally every store here in Europe. You can find them literally everywhere. Everybody has them and finding them is not gonna be that difficult. However, do mind that this version, it's actually pretty terrible. The, the isolation for some reason, it's a lot worse. There is some kind of horrible boost between the mids and highs and which makes your kit sound really horrible and the bass frequencies are not well filtered out anymore. That makes that in isolation terms it, it, it's worse and they just sound a lot more horrible and make everything sound horrible. So try to find uh, the black version basically like these ones. Better on-ear uh, option are the Pelper Optim. Uh, these are the Optin 3 and they are honestly the best that I have had for on-ear. And the biggest downside that they have is that they don't have a cable attachment. There are versions that come with it. Their isolation, I think it's really, really, really great. Their base isolation and overall, it's a lot, a lot, a lot better than the Big Fruit ones. But I just got these just for practice and ultimately I can just always put some in-ears below and as you see there is actually enough uh, space here so it's not a problem. Their comfort it's actually <laughs> and looks even worse <laughs> but once again they are not made to look fancy they're just made to protect your ears. But the padding is a lot softer and it's a lot bigger as well so if you have big or small ears it's not a problem anymore budget wise i have paid 26 euros for them and i was actually pretty impressed that i had to pay 60 euros for uh, the big fit ones that are a lot worse in quality and overall than the famous brand pelter so this is the last option and i think that this is the best option as a musician i have said it multiple times already However, I don't think that you will get them immediately if you're gonna get your first gigs simply because they are not only expensive, they take also time and you will want to know which model to get. I'm having some hearing problems with my right ear, it doesn't seal and at first I thought that it was the in-ear but it turns out it's actually me. The mold is made to your ear so it's customized and I have some videos about that if you, if you want. Because these are custom made to your ear, therefore they make a mold of your ear and it makes a complete seal. The isolation is literally the best one and I think that filter wise it's also the best that you can get in the market if you're a musician. They are also very subtle, they are not uh, huge and that works really really well. Sound quality depends how many drivers and from what brand and how they are balanced. However, uh, these are clear, uh, dual drivers, extra bass. They are amazing. I honestly, I have already said it in the review, which you can see somewhere there. Um, I was literally blown away. The, the sound quality, this is, this is seriously really amazing sound quality. I, uh, once again, I, I'm not endorsing, uh, I don't endorse a clear. However, I really believe in the products. Their customer service is also great. So I highly recommend them. 
One thing that I both absolutely love and uh, that it's really missing is some kind of filter to relieve the hearing fatigue, which you get after a couple of hours that you're playing. That is the only downside that I really have with this. And probably on the budget that not everyone can afford them. And honestly, I had to save up as well to, to get them. I hope that I could introduce you to in-ear monitors if this is new to you and that you're trying to find uh, an option that could well fit your budget and your expectations of the in-ears. I really wonder what in-ears is using and would you recommend them? Let me know below in the comments and let's make that the people who is watching can also know what models is everyone using and therefore have some, you know, comparisons and some other models to take a look at. Thank you so much guys for supporting me. Of course, if you did like this video, let me know by liking it. And if you're new here to the channel, welcome. I really hope that you're subscribing. It means a lot to me. And if you want to just, you know, click the subscribe button below and you can also turn on the notification bell. So when I upload, you get also, also notified. See you next time.